Hey guys, FrozenX is here, and today we were going to do another gameplay video, but there has been a patch, so we are going to be going over that instead. Uh, starting off, raids, uh, we are no longer fighting abstract raiders, but representatives of factions of our world. Each raid into uh, or goes into rotation with a pre-selected faction for the players to face. At the moment, we can fight the factions Engineer, Lunatics, and Scavengers. Nom uh, nomads are not very prone to open conflict. Uh, each faction is characterized by structural features of their machines. Lunatics are known for their speed and try and impose melee damage when possible. Scavengers use solid machines and powerful long-range attacks. And engineers are distinguished by their strong officers. All enemy uh, in raids are divided into four classes. Ordinary enemies crush you with numbers. Melee enemies uh, rearmed with saws, augers, and harvesters. Officers are tough opponents armed with powerful weapons. Have a dangerous habit of quietly appearing in the thick of the battle as the players are busy fighting ordinary opponents. And gunners shoot from a distance, not all allowing to concentrate on missions or destruction of normal parts. Deal a lot of damage, but are vulnerable in me uh, melee. Scavengers are the most skilled gunners. Um, and special bosses have also been created for each faction in defense mode. So, that is awesome. Uh, they're making raids way more interactive, and it's really cool. Uh, it's I think that's going to be a great update. I can't wait to see some of this. Cargo race. Improved algorithm for choosing cargo sp uh, spawn spots. Now a cargo to collect is chosen in a close radius from previous one, so it's not like one's on one side of the map and one's on the other one. Because if you get unlucky enough times, well then you're kind of screwed. Defense. Improved al algorithm of tower selection. Now every tower to defend is farther than the previous one, so the distance gets slowly farther apart. Makes sense. And general, opponents now know where to jump off small ledges, so they don't have to follow the map. They can, like, jump off the bridge and whatnot. Alright, uh, moving into balance. Uh, as always, or pretty much always, balance updates. The vector structure was reduced by 10%. The STM-23 Defender had a power drain increased by 1%. It had its power score increased up to 555, and durability increased by 50%. The mass was also increased by 33%, so they moved that thing up and how much power and power score it has, but it also is a bit stronger now, also heavier though. Uh, the Reaper has a 12% damage increase. The Spitfire Shotgun has a very similar to the Defender, it has a power score uh, increased to 555, and the power drain increased by 1, and the durability increased by 22%. So the Spitfire is a little bit stronger, but it wear, er, uh, draws more power and is a higher power score. Cannons, almost every cannon has been changed in this one. The Avenger 57mm, vertical rotation angle considerably reduced. The Judge 76mm, vertical rotation uh, angle slightly increased, so you can, you know, go up and down with it a bit more, and the structure was increased by 20%. The Executioner, tw or 88mm, vertical rotation angle significantly increased, and damage was increased by 5%. The Little Boy 6 pound, uh, durability was increased by 20%. The ZF-34 Fat Man, vertical rotation angle slightly increased, damage increased by 5%. And finally, the Mammoth Cannon, vertical rotation angle increased. So on all but the 57mm Avenger have had a vertical rotation angle increase which allows you to go up and down with the cannon a bit more which is good for when you're elevated and things like that. It's, uh, it's, it's a nice thing to have. Turrets and drones. Attack drones. Now activate instantly. Missile drone. Now activates instantly. Missile turret. Damage increased by 1%. Activation time reduced to 1 second. Alright, so the missile turret, the one I happen to have, got a nice buff there, so we're going to go give that a shot here pretty soon. Uh, the porcupine mine layer, barrels are now damaged by fire from the fire bug and your own fire. Uh, the chassis uh, armored track, it has an increased turn rate. And on miscellaneous, there's only a couple things. Uh, the map rock city and founders uh, canyon returned to defense and car uh, cargo pickup rotation. The amount of uranium required for production of relic weapons is now 600. Well, that is it for the patch notes. I think all in all, this is a pretty cool patch. Uh, the, on the balance side of things, I think they did everything correctly. They buffed what needed buffed, nerfed what needed nerfed, and 
moves some items around. So some are higher tier, some are lower tier. Makes more sense that way, but all in all, I'm very excited to play this update. You're going to be seeing a lot of footage of the uh, new raids coming out in the next few days from me. I'm also going to have regular footage, but yeah, uh, we absolutely are doing gameplay uh, tomorrow, though. So uh, sorry that we have been doing these kind of videos for the last couple of days, but, you know, it's patch notes. We got to do it. It's patch notes day. <laughs> anyway, I do hope you guys enjoy. I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope to see you back in the next one. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know whatever YouTuber begs you to do at the end of the video. And as always, peace out, and have a great day. Try